In this video we will talk about how to overcome depression. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel to be notified when we upload new videos daily. Identifying Depression Depression, like most mental illness runs the continuum of severity. It can be mild or major. It can last from weeks to months. It can involve anxiety symptoms as well. Depression is primarily characterized by sadness and or loss of pleasure in nearly all activities. Additionally, there may be symptoms such as changes in appetite, sleep patterns, and psychomotor activity that is, changes in both mental and physical responsiveness and or activity. A depressed person may struggle with feelings of low self-worth, recurrent thoughts of dying, as well as difficulty concentrating or making decisions. In children and adolescents the mood is often manifested as irritability rather than sadness. Some people may deny having feelings of sadness, instead they may report feeling numb or having no feelings at all. Taking Action First, it is important to look at how severely one's functioning may be impaired. If the person's level of functioning has been significantly impaired, that is, they are having difficulty performing their daily routine, seek professional help immediately. A trip to the family doctor to rule out any medical conditions that might be causing the mood disorder is a good place to start. Second, assess whether there have been any significant changes in circumstances, relationships etc. that may be contributing to the depression. Third, if your loved one indicates they have a plan or intentions to harm themselves, take action immediately to get help. Call a mental health professional that you have been referred to by a reliable source or check for community mental health services. Don't wait to get help. One of the biggest reasons people do not seek help is the shame they feel about having a mental illness. The reality is that our minds are vulnerable to illness just like our bodies. How counseling can help. A counselor can help a person gain perspective about their illness. Resolve problems that may be contributing to the depression and assist the person in developing coping skills. Relief is available for difficulties that plague our minds. It is truly the wise that seek out the help, wisdom and counsel of those whom God has equipped to facilitate the healing of the mind. I hope you found some useful information and tips. I look forward to hearing from you. Warning! None of the information on our videos is a substitute for a diagnosis and treatment by your health professional.